What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Daisy standalone 0.53 update review and my name is Tactical Bacon. I don't know why I messed up my own intro for some reason or another but anyways like I said this is the is this going to be the final part of the review um, and as you guys can actually see it's not dark anymore. I uh, actually read one of the comments on my last video someone had mentioned that hey you know it is kind of difficult to see you know, e even though the nighttime is better when you're playing the game, it's still difficult to uh, watch it on YouTube. And, you know, like I said, I completely understand where you're coming from. And that's why I decided to actually come back and remake some of this stuff. And I think I just saw a zombie started to run towards me up at the top of the screen. So that's going to suck if he comes up here. But anyways, as I said, I'm recording during the daytime now. And fuck. Hold on. Zombie. It's just gonna stand there apparently. Okay, I'll just there you go. Okay, but yeah. Like I said, I wanted to come back and kinda give a little bit of a better looking review, I guess you could say. Um so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And as you guys can see right now I'm just painting my AK. Don't really think it comes out looking all that great, but uh but yeah. Um, if you guys are wondering where I got a lot of this gear, because in the last part I didn't have all this, or I mean I had some of it, but I didn't have all this kind of stuff on me. Um, basically on my trip down to the prison, I found the AK, I believe. I found that in the prison. I found two clips for that in the prison. Uh, don't worry about those two maps down there. I just had to drop those, clear them out of my inventory before I started recording. Uh, that doesn't look too bad with the black on the AK. I mean, I'm sure you can paint the clips, but I don't think I haven't... Aw, oh, shit, my coat's badly damaged, but that one's fine. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I don't think you can paint the clips, but... Aw, oh, fuck, I'm out of... I'm out of spray paint anyways, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, like I said, um... Coming back dur during the daytime, and we got one of the new flare guns here, which can only chamber one flare at a time, which is pretty good. I mean, that's that's pretty realistic. Um, and I guess we'll go ahead and test this thing out for you guys real quick. I don't know how far I want it to go. Also, I don't I don't want to trigger any zombies either. Make sure the area is clear for the most part. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hmm. See, this part would have probably been better off at nighttime. <laughs> now that I think about it. But, I mean, hey, there you go. There's the, uh, there's the flare. I mean, it looks like it's brightening those trees up a little bit, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, it did. It did. At first, I thought those trees were just orange orange trees but you know like those are over there but whatever that was the flare gun <laughs> not not really anything too exciting I mean I'm sure it comes in handy at night time if you know maybe you're trying to distract a player or I don't know maybe you're trying to signal where your uh, where your location is and I wonder if this is gonna be effective or not on a zombie because I remember reading in the description that it was really only used for its you know, main purpose, but let's see. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I was kind of hoping that a flare would actually go into his skull and, you know, start flaring up, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Here comes another zombie. And see, uh, another thing that is... I mean, it's cool, but at the same time, it's kind of not cool. Uh, every time I've gotten attacked by a zombie on the way down here has just ended up making me bleed, and that's not cool. That's not cool. Especially for a man that's running out of bandages all the time. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, this is the final part, and we're actually going, uh, going over to the prison island, which is right there. And, uh, oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention this. I was going to go through uh, Electro, Cherno, and Belota, 
and originally I was like, okay, fuck it, since I'm doing this during the daytime now, I'm just going to go back to Cherno and then start recording. That way everybody could get the entire experience of me doing my usual uh, loot run whenever I'm a fresh spawn. But I started going back, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm about to pass by Belota. Let me just stop at Belota and see if it's going to be worth me stopping here at all. Because I don't want to waste too much time just recording a bunch of nothing. So I stopped at Belota, looked around. There really wasn't anything besides, like, some backpacks and some shoes. I think there was, like, a clip for a, uh, like, a 9 millimeter pistol. I'm not exactly sure what it was. Uh, but it definitely wasn't a Makarov because I've already got two mags and I'm looking for a Makarov right now. So, uh, But yeah, I stopped in Belota, didn't see jack shit for loot, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to even bother going to Cherno. I'm just going to start my recording in uh, Kaminka and then just work my way over. So, that's basically what I did. Or, that's basically what I did. And now we're coming over here to the shore. Uh, I'm going to check around these boats because I am kind of looking for some stuff to make a ghillie suit out of. So, holy shit. Just rain jackets and boots galore. Pristine black raincoat. Okay. Even though it looks more brown than black, but I'll take your word for it. Let's see, boonie hat. Oh, okay. Here's one of the, uh... Alright, yeah, I'll go with this one. There's gotta be an easier way to move all that inventory over. I'm sure there is, I just haven't, haven't started it yet. But yeah, like I was saying, this is the, uh, the new wooden paddle, or the wooden canoe paddle. Like I said, it's probably gonna be used for, a as a melee weapon, so... I don't know, let's just go ahead and see what kind of uh what kind of swing it's got to it all right so it swings down like an axe which i mean i don't know the most most melee weapons suck unless you're dealing with an axe or a hatchet and also if you guys are wondering where the hatchets uh normally spawn uh i've normally come across them in the smaller industrial buildings like the small little warehouse buildings uh, not the uh, blue and silver ones, but the the smaller ones. I don't know how else to better describe it, but yeah, there you go. Um, also, in the factories, I've come across a couple of them on the uh, second and third floor of the factory. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm pretty much just looking for the netting to make some ghillie stuff with. I don't know... I don't think the burlap sacks are gonna spawn down here. I think that might be. I think that would be too easy. If everything you needed for a ghillie spawn in the same place. But I mean, shit. There's there's raincoats all over the place, so I don't know. I wish I could just rip those up, but I can't. All right. Well, I don't know. It doesn't really look like there's too much going on over there at those boats. Uh, I'm gonna be coming over here to the prison island. And I don't think I'm going to record myself swimming. It would be kind of boring. So, yeah, I'm going to come over here to the prison island and see what's going on over there. And hopefully it won't take too long. So, yeah. All right. So here we are at the main prison building. I guess this, I guess you could consider that the main prison building. I don't know. This is, okay, well, there's nothing in there. So, let's see what we have here. Now, last time I came here, like I was saying earlier, I found the AK, and I think I came across... Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I came across both of the mags that I own for the AK here as well. Um, another thing I came across here was... It was either two or three MP5s, and I came across at least one magazine for an MP5, so... Kind of hoping to find more guns, but it looks like there's just a bunch of fucking books. I mean, un unfortunately, and I discovered this last time I came out here as well. Unfortunately, it just looks like, for the most part, in the jail cells at least, it's just going to be books, you know, like right there on the sink. You might have some rags, some alcohol, uh, 
every once in a while, maybe a pair of boots, but for the most part, it's just books and fucking handcuffs. I mean, it's... What the hell is that? Is that a... <laughs> it's a syringe. For those... For those junkies that somehow or another managed to get their stuff in jail. But yeah, I mean, you know, like I was saying, it's pretty much just all books, and I don't really know if it's worth spending anywhere between five and ten minutes in the water swimming over here. I mean, unless you're just one of those crazy people that like to collect books for some reason or another, I don't think they've implemented a, like, a read action in the, into the game. I don't think they will. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, gel cells are almost horrible for loot, uh, unless you're looking for books or handcuffs or boots, maybe. Um, so yeah, they're pretty much just rooms that I skip over for the most part. Um, let's see, come down here. See, now normally I'm able to, or I was able to find the, uh, the guns in these kind. Oh, okay, this, that was just a hallway to this part of it, okay. See, sometimes in the larger rooms, yeah, there's nothing in here. I mean, I don't even know why I keep checking these. I'm just, just hoping that there's going to be something else in here besides fucking books. There's like six books per room. I mean, holy shit. These prisoners were, were well educated before the zombie apocalypse came along. Okay, here we go. What is this? CR-527 carbine. Okay. Uh, it looks like it uses Mosin rounds, I believe. Can't attach the PU scope to it, though, which is unfortunate. Maybe you could do the long-range scope. Nice iron sights, though. I mean, I mean, I, I don't think that this is a new gun that came out with this update. It's new to me, though, because it's the first time that I've seen that gun, at least, in the game. See what condition are these in? Pristine? Hell yeah, I'll take pristine binoculars. Um, but yeah, I mean, this place looks pretty dry. I mean, I hope the loot is not as bad in this or in all servers as it is in this server. But I mean, holy shit, it's it's almost like it wasn't really worth coming out here at all. Some issues with that door. Let's see what's behind this door. Now, see, I mean, I would imagine that there would be, like, at least cans of food or something on these shelves. In 27%, it's not even worth me picking it up and taking the time to drink it. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not... I mean, when I came here the first time, I was, I was kind of impressed about the amount of loot that was spawning over here and what kind of loot it was, but... I don't know, now I'm just more... I don't know, just the. <laughs> that's uh, that's probably just the best word for me to describe how I feel right now. It's just bleh. Hmm. I mean, like I said last time I came out here, there was there was guns, there was ammo. Now it's just nothing. Unless I want to handcuff someone and make them read me a story for some weird reason. All right, well, that's not too bad of a view. I mean, see that building right over there? I mean, it's not really... Uh, it was it, it was worse off than this building the first time I came over here. It was worse off than this building that I'm currently in for loot, so... All right, well, here's another uh, CR-527. It's black. I don't know if it was... If it just spawned in painted black? I don't know. Hmm... Oh wow, more fucking books. Are you serious? Alright, well, I mean, at least you got a good view from up here. I don't know. I mean, honestly, if if you were to ask me... Because, okay, because the whole reason that I play when a new update comes out, at least, the, the whole reason I play the DayZ standalone is to see if it's worth coming back yet or not. And... If you were to ask me, hey, is, you know, 0 
worth coming back to. In my opinion, I'm gonna say no. Um, adding a prison that spawns in a bunch of books isn't exactly what would bring me back to the game. <laughs> um, I think adding in new features would definitely bring me back to this game. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short since I'm not really finding anything for loot at all. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed the entire review, please do let me know in the comment section down below. It really does help me out as far as me trying to figure out uh, if I should do more of these in the future or not, which I do plan on doing. So, like I said, if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep looting for books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.